Hey folks and welcome to, um, God that was a terrible way to start, welcome to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. I'm your tour guide obscure, I'm tour guide to Greenvale. So we're outside uh, this very 65, I haven't done a video in a while but that's because we've been beating, uh, beating um, Quint with his wrench. And we're outside kind of late actually, um, you can normally, the controls are playing up a bit. Uh, Normally it opens a bit earlier than this, but I kind of oversmoked. <laughs> so, well, we're going in a little bit late. But let's take a look at what type of bar this is. Looks alright, looks like a nice place. Nice atmosphere. We've got a jukebox here, so let's put on some cool tunes. Ooh, that's good. York feels the groove. Ooh, yeah. Um, oh, Emily's there, so we'll say hello to the pretty lady. Ooh, yeah. Do your little dance to the York. Hey. Do, 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 do. Hey, we'll talk to Hi. Emily. Hi, Emily. Pretty much. Look at that complacent expression on his face, filled with contempt for her food. What a weird question to randomly come out of. Maybe it's because he's eyeing up that beer bottle there. Thinking, maybe I can take a sip and she won't notice. I'm with York on that one. I, I could survive, but I wouldn't be living. <laughs> hey, you, you want to be careful. You're holding a knife there, Emily. Jeez, you want to be careful with that. <laughs> Whoa. Now she's questioning my drinking, she was just pouring down her throat. God, I don't know, these women. <clears throat> so what does that say? Coffee liqueur? Sounds nice. A dark rental. Hi. Oh. Hey, you're drinking, huh? Um, you, you might want to pick that up. Getting all over the floor. Hi. Yeah. It's not much more she has to say. But uh, yes, yeah, she'll be here every night, pretty much. Uh, aside from a few nights, which you may think sounds pretty much right, but uh, I'll get to what I mean maybe next episode or whatever, sometime. You may already know the sex behind her eating habits, but um, it will come. It will come. Well, we don't need a shovel because we've got Quint's wrench, and sadly we can't play pool. And look at the pool table. Good choice of pool table. This is one of the first officially approved competition models. So we're living in the past. We've gone back. I will talk to Richard. See what he has to say. Yo, do you want a drink? What do you recommend? The Kilo Sun up, sounds good. Mick Jagger. So this comment here, um, I mentioned maybe. Um, I don't keep track of videos that I've actually uploaded. Sometimes I don't upload them because they go wrong. Sometimes, you know, I've had to start this game again. But anyway, um, I, I may have mentioned that I believe there's a connection uh, to reference to Rolling Stone, should I say. Uh, Richard here and Keith said they're like brothers. Uh, Keith is a guitarist, Keith Richard, and now we see uh, Richard here men mentioning Mick Jagger. So I just always wondered if there was a kind of maybe a bit more subtle uh, in joke to Rolling Stones. I mean, 
Later on, you'll see you'll not only talk about movies, but music as well. So they do have a you know sort of passion for uh, music as well, or Sferi does at least. Yeah, well, we'll think about it later. By the way, did you see Clint's menu? Well, he's not here, so unless you've got it. Right. Um, well, much, not as bad as the uh, Milk Barn, uh, where I think they do actually have the same uh, shopping list, but. Uh, Lily's is longer, um, Quint and Richard actually have different ones. And we're buying this dark gun. Again, I'm not sure if I actually showed this, but uh, Bull did mention that Richard, or if we did see the video, Bull mentions or mentioned that uh, Richard's held a long standing dart score. So we're going to use the dark gun to beat the score. Um, we've got some drinks there, and we'll follow his recommendation. Have a tequila sunrise. And uh, we oh, taco is my favorite. So our hunger and sleep meter, I guess, uh, up near the top. But now we play darts. This is what we'll be really be doing this episode. Um, pretty much what we'll be doing from now on. So if you don't want to watch the darts get played, you can switch off now. Um, maybe skip to the end. I'm not sure. But we're, we're playing darts, there's a few things we need to unlock here. There's three top scores and we need to beat each one, uh, not necessarily consecutively, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it, you know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be champions, we'll be the darts hero that they need us to be. So we've got a uh, breath meter at the top, uh, pulse meter, uh, now every time we aim it goes up, we can also hold our breath. But it goes up a lot faster that way. And unlike the normal game, it doesn't go down at all. The higher it goes up, the more erratic our gun handling skills go. Once it gets to the top, basically York spins around in circles, shooting everyone in the bar, leaving a big trail of blood and destruction behind them, which is not how we want to end this. York, you can, you can see the blood lost in his eyes at times. You know he just really is aching to fire that gun, but he holds back out of sheer will. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know what I'm saying. Um, but we'll see how we go. I, I did this video last night, and for some reason it wouldn't let me unlock uh, one of the things we meant to win on unlock. So I had to film again to see if we can do it right this time. As we see at the top, that's the high score. We beat that. Well, oh, that's not a good way to start it. Uh, we get one of the prizes, but we really want to beat the lower end first. Um, that's really what we'll be aiming for first. <coughs> every second, or well, every third shot, so it's actually, after every two shots, or every third shot, um, two positions, or sometimes three positions, on the, or even one. God. So many options. Well, position on the board highlights the number of positions. Um, if we hit that, we get five times the score that we land on. If you know anything about darts, there's also trebles and doubles, or triples as the scheme refers, refers to it. In the middle, or well, not necessarily in the middle, but basically any score has got three sections. The bigger areas, uh, two big areas which count as one, a single, uh, and two small areas. The larger the small areas is a double, the smaller the small areas is a treble. And you kind of work your scores out from that way. We're not doing too well actually, we've been talking too much and kind of let uh, breath get a bit too high. Oh, and there's a really bad shot. Um, as you also notice, the 
laser pointer, I guess, I don't know what you really call it, comes and goes. So you really want to use your breath, um, holding a capability. You can't hold it for more than 10 minutes, unlike some heroes. Um, you really want to use it at that point. Yeah, uh, what do we want to go from there, actually? Should be really more careful with what I'm aiming for. And especially since my gun controls a bit more reckless now. Yorg's getting a bit uh, itchy on the trigger finger. Oh, that was not where I wanted to go. I'll go for the eleven this time. And we missed completely. That's not how that's not that's not sportsmanship. That's not cricket. It's just not cricket. Um So I should really be a bit more careful with my prayer. Uh why not? Go for a double. Just for a laugh. Tee hee tee hee. But we're nearing the end of the game. So we might even beat the first score at this rate, which is not really what I wanted to do uh, first time around. But, you know, it happens. Sometimes you're just that good. I'm trying to play off a little bit uh, so we'd only beat the top score. See if we can get the double. be up to under it. I actually don't think... Uh, what is the third score now? I can't remember. Okay, we got our last shot. This time the bullseye highlights. And as usual you notice it's five times our uh, score. But let's see what happens if we hit the bullseye. Just hit it, but yeah, a hit to hit. This time it's times 10. Whoa, marvelous. 500 points. So we hit second place. Not too bad. And we go, we got Quint. We got him. He's ours for the keeping. Yeah, he, he will live in our pocket. No, it's just a card. Just another bloody card. But we've got to get all of them. Um. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can just get third place this time. Just to kind of draw this video out longer. Um. I have read in some cases that. Uh. If you get second place and get third place, uh, sorry, if you get second place and first place, you do get third place as well because you push down Richard's score. Um, but in my video last night, that didn't happen. Um, so that's why I'm doing this again. And as you also may notice, sometimes the orders of orders order of the lighted numbers uh, change bar last two I think uh, last two always is 20 for the second last light number and balls up the last um, pretty much in every case I don't know why I aimed for the wrong number that time okay just wasn't paying attention uh, I'm gonna point out uh, for all you hardcore Deadly Premonition fans here watching, because I know there's many of you, I know my videos get 100 views and I get a lot of dedicated fans to this game. Um, and if you're not watching this too late, uh, I'm a big fan of the site FK and the Coffee, also known as SH. Shaded Memories slash Greenvale, Welcome to Greenvale, or many other names the site goes under. Um, it's personally my favourite 
fan site for deadly premonitions. Really good, actually. Um, it still needs work on the walkthrough. Um, I'm sure if you wouldn't mind me saying that, because it does need work, it's not finished yet. Um, but for everything else, it seems to be more comprehensive, or at least put out in a better way, um, written more clearly uh, than any other site I've seen. Um, I'm going to miss a few shots. Because I'm just going to go for third place this time. Um, but yeah, she's, or the site in general, I'm not actually sure who particular is hosting it. Um, but there's a competition, and a very cool one. Uh, if you got any fan stuff related to Deadly Premonition, whether it be drawings, or tattoos, or costumes, or silly hats, or poems, or whatever, submit them and you go into a big fancy drawer, and I'm not sure if you win the whole set of cards, or just one, uh, but either way it's cool. Uh, actually, I pushed down to second place, didn't I? I should be playing better. <laughs> What was second place? Bloody hell, I really should pay attention more to what I'm doing. Um, but you win either one card or a set of cards or something like that. But I think it's a cool prize. I think it's a really cool prize, to be honest. Um, so, enter the competition. Shit. That's really not what I wanted to do. Excuse my language there. But I really wanted a better shot for that last one. Yeah. Alright, I've bugged up that game. Due to one simple miss. And it can only come it can come down to that at times. Um but yeah. Draw ends October first, I believe. Uh so get your get your entries in. Well worth it. Cool prize. Um Go to the site fkandacoffee.com, all one word. I don't know, see, sweet, we got first place. Um, yeah, Richard Dunn. We've got the Dunn family now. Done and dusted, as you'd say. Hoo ha ha hee ha hoo ha. Um, but yeah, enter it. Go to fkandacoffee.com. I don't know if it's actually on the site, it's on the Facebook, which is linked from the site at least. So if it's not on the site, go to the Facebook. Keep that in mind. Um, you have to like the Facebook fan page, I believe. Um, I mean, she may watch this video. She's watched the first two, at least. Um, if she watches this one, if you're watching it now, comment, um, please, and give the people better details than I'm giving them. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it's worth entering. Uh, even just to get your stuff out there, um, so it's like it's a really good comprehensive list of, it's got a good list of fan stuff and everything like that, so, um, if you got fan art and you, you just want to get it out there and get it noticed, um, this is one way to do it, and probably the best way to do it, in my opinion. So anyway, back to darts. So, as you also may notice, um, darts in Greenvale is a little different to darts in the real world, I guess. Um, I don't know how else you would point it, but normally, if you're familiar with darts, uh, you normally count backwards and you have to finish the last shot on a double or a ball um, to win the game. Uh, in Greenvale, they play the gun, the game of darts a little. Oh shit! Oh no, we got it. Um, game of darts a little differently. Instead, we count upwards to see who's got the high score, and uh, we also play with a gun. We play crazy. In fact, I think we're the only ones that play with a gun. We did see people playing before, and I didn't see a gun in their hand. Oh, I think. Oh, we got it. I'm not actually aiming for a perfect game here, but you know, if we get it, I'm not going to be upset. I could get it if I really tried, but um, I probably wouldn't be able to do it by doing this commentary. Yeah. Um, it leaves me a bit too distracted to really focus. Yeah. 
so missed one shot. Jinxed myself. Um, I mean, it's not actually too hard to get perfect score. I did it last night by a fluke. Um, so I can do it while commentating, but, you know, not guaranteed. I should have really kept that video just to say, look, I've done it perfectly. Uh, but there's a lot of videos like that on YouTube I've seen, so... Uh, I mean, I don't really need to do it again. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else very exciting. What was it going to be? I think Zach, I think, no, that's not my name. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, come to me. That's right, I was going to say, um, yeah, no, this game's reasonably easy, uh, darts wise, should I say. Unlike, uh, you know, it's not like you're facing Jamie Jim here, who, if you're an old school gamer, you may be familiar with that man, and the fact that he's the greatest darts player in the world. Um, if you want to really test your darts skills, that's the man you have to beat, Jamie Jim. Um, Google him, you probably will get the right game and right character information uh, for him. He, he's... oh sh... no, we got it. Um, he really is the greatest darts player of all time, so if you want to test your guard darts skills out, uh, if you beat him, you know you're a pro darts player. Uh, basically, in real darts, you generally want to hit your first few go. Oh, pass. Uh, you generally want to hit your first few go. Darts goes uh, 180, uh, which is, of course, three triple twenties in a row. Ah, uh, bollocks! Missed three shots total so far, but that's not too bad. Uh, I'm really not conserving my breath enough. I should be doing. Uh, but yeah, if, if you ever want to test your dart skills, and Demi Jim, pretty much all. Bloody hell. The control is vibrating. That means York's getting a bit angry. He's ready to start firing a gun at Richard. So, how do you like it, Richard? How do you like it? Because York's a madman. Yeah, we should have it. I think we've been in this top score even if we miss this, to be fair. But, yeah. We missed three shots total, so not too bad. Three shots away from a uh, top school. Can't complain. Could have done better, could have done worse. Oh, we got a new side quest. I wonder what it could be about. Let's check it. Let's check it out. Use the dark gun to play Rich's, uh, to play the darts game and defeat Rich's log standing top score. Well, we've done that, haven't we? Congrats, we've beaten the side quest already. Just feeling cold and dead inside. Since you came to Greenville, oh, your form of doubts at least. Something like that. Hey, here's your prize. What's this for? You're getting a high score. You won't see many of these around. Take it. Well, we've got a prize, and it's a bag that lets or it's a weapon bag. Put it that way. Um, it's useful to have to some extent, but since we're doing 100% walkthrough, um, it's not going to be as important. I don't think these guys, no, they, these guys aren't using guns. 
Oh. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Emily. Give her a kiss on the cheek. Mwah. I don't think that was the cheek, York. You're a bit too uh, brash there. Well, I'll leave the bar. Call it a day. Go home. Brush our teeth. Um, have a poo. Have a smile. Wash our hands. And uh, go to sleep. It's still early, I realise, but... Uh, there's really not much more you can do today um, in town. We may uh, stop in at the gas station on the drive home. Say hello to Ball. He'll be happy to see us as usual. Um, really, that's really all there is left to do for the day. The cop shop's closed. Um, pretty much everything else is closed as well. Um, so yeah, really there's not much left more to do. And a lot of places that do open up later uh, are not available at this time of the game, so we can't go there. Um, I'm not sure how long Sweary is open for, but there is the other bar that Polly mentioned. Um, that's usually open all well, not usually, but it's open all night once it opens up. Well, let's drop in. Let's see what... Uh, we don't want you. No offense, but... Piss off. I just want to check if uh, we did do the bribery or fall. I, I have poor recollection skills, as evident by my tests so far in university. Actually, to be fair, I didn't do too bad in the psychology one, from what I could tell. Uh, so we don't have the option to bribe. Um, we're really doing this the long way, but it's the only way I can think of doing it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have done it, but I figured we'd double check. You want to talk? Yeah, yeah, um, we must have done it, that's right. So we'll go back one more time and top up the car. We're a little bit low on damage and uh, petrol. Oh, no, yeah, Gina can do it. Just as long as she keeps her mouth quiet. Wash the car. Yeah, good work. You know how to work a sponge. I can see why he married you. Alright. That's all we really need to do for the day. Uh, yeah, we've got everything. Uh, there's a few more cards we could pick up, but uh, I'll save it for another time. Uh, ultimately, I think we've had a constructive first day in Greenvale. Um, I mean, we were meant to go to the PlayStation to check out Arna's file, but York had other ideas, or maybe Zach had other ideas, and whoa. That tequila sunrise really hit you, York. Um, and we went to Anna's house where we met her calm speaking, completely in control mother, Sally. Uh, and managed to find Anna's diary where we learned a few things. We learned about her friend Becky, who she was worried about her safety including a delivery man Q, we later found out was Quint, who also happens to be Sally's boy- uh, it's not Sally, sorry, um, Becky's boyfriend. Seemingly, uh, he was delivering some health supplements, quote-unquote, uh, and was using the money he made from him to purchase a engagement ring for him and Becky to run off and live happily ever after. And that didn't work so well. There's a card here, why not stop and pick it up? Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? This is the Galaxy of Terror, I've probably introduced it before. Uh, it's the bar that is open all night, but it won't be open until a bit later in the game. Um, a certain event needs to take place first. But, 
On due course, my good man. On due course. York needs to sleep though. He had too much to drink. He's driving into cars, swerving all over the place, talking to people who aren't there. I think he just needs to sit down and relax. Think things over for a bit. Wake up in the morning and then we'll uh, hit the book, so to speak. We do have the option to talk, but we probably won't do that uh, till next episode because York only has a limited amount of things to say per chapter, and hopefully we'll get through all of them. Um, I'm pretty sure we will, since it's a hundred percent walkthrough, and that does require a lot of going off in the wrong direction most of the time. Um, oh, we froze. Hopefully that doesn't screw up the video, but it's known to in the past, so you're probably not listening to this now. Good going. Um, but yeah, well, if you are listening, it means the video worked, pull out, stop off, burst inside like a maniac, kick down the door, scream at Polly, where's my room? Pretend to be Batman for a little while. Hello Polly, just going to bed. And that's our day done. So we've completed one whole day in Deadly Premonition. Took a while, but we'll have a long sleep just to feel better. Mm. Well, <sighs> you'll need something to eat. We'll do that next episode on Let's Play Deadly Premonition. See you then. Bye bye for now.